Hello and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft on Dawn SMP. So I'm just on my way back to my house to get myself an enchanted sword. And this is going to be useful for the project I am doing today. So I'm going to be helping to make a slime farm. And to make this a lot easier, it will be very useful if we get ourselves a beacon. So over here, I've got a weaponsmith, and if I trade with it a few times, a lot of it will need to be some iron, so it would be useful if I can convert it with this guy over here first. So I collected up some enchantments. I've got Sweeping Edge, Looting 3, Sharpness 5, and Mending and that is ready to go on my sword. The only problem is it costs about 34 levels and I only have 24. So I've got a little bit of waiting here and getting some XP to do. I now have enough levels to actually enchant this and um, okay I don't actually have any levels to rename it so I'm just gonna put the enchantments on just like that. Okay. So I can also put efficiency on both my pickaxes, so I'll quickly just do a little more trading with these villagers and get enough levels to do that. And there we go, fully enchanted. So I've got a few extra books for the others helping out with this, so I'm just going to put all this stuff away and make my way back over there. So, slime spawn from Y40 and below. Okay, so... Can we move the nether portal down here? We can. Um, yeah. It's probably good to dig out one block higher. The roof. Make it the slime larger? So, or the down one. So the Either top way. spawning platform is here. So, yeah. Got that. And also, um, I forgot to mention, but this needs to go three blocks in each direction past the border of the chunk. So they can spawn? So they have somewhere to go. I don't but, know what that means. But, <laughs> yeah, slime farms are um, different. So, so we could make this, uh, we could make this go a lot faster if we go and get a beacon. But part of that also means we'll need some blocks. Here we already have eight slime blocks. I mean iron, diamond, gold blocks. Wow. So the first skeleton I kill, I get a wither skeleton skull. Well, I guess I can go back now. So, do you want to come and do away with the fight? Yeah, okay. Do you, do you have your skull? Yeah. Okay, so we've got a wither here ready to spawn. It might also be worth just digging a few tunnels. I, I don't actually know how we're going to fight this with three people, it's a lot easier with one. Okay. So there's a really long tunnel and the idea is to just sort of um, spawn it in and then whack it. Run? <laughs> when, as soon as we spawn it in, we run this way. And then we can oh, yeah, come back and fight on. it. Oh, okay. I think he's mm -hmm. AFK. Run, okay, run, 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 it's gonna explode. <laughs> I think this is far enough. Yo, you might take a little bit of damage, okay. Oh yeah, we should, we should, well, we should try to make wither flowers, to be honest. Oh yeah, we, we could have, but... <laughs> First thing you attack is the wither. Oh, 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 okay, I'm not sure if I'm dying. So you just sort of come in here and hit it. Sorry. I didn't have a little bit of 
Oh, wait, move, 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 wait. Oh, hey, Tell's right, can you move? Can you move out of the way? Can you not aim? Did, did I? We did it! <laughs> okay, because I was. You, you, you shot me, I almost died. Okay. Oh, jeez. Wait, where's the star? I got it. Did you get the wither head? Okay. Yep. Both that was afraid, okay? <laughs> yeah. uh, why were you saying right there? You shot me, like, I think twice. Okay, there we go. Now I, I can just do this and oh. show off. Oh, and now we okay. can make a beacon. We need a few more blocks. Okay, I got a beacon. So I need to go get some emerald blocks and it would be good if I could get two stacks but I think about a stack and a half might be enough. I'm not entirely sure how many I have at the moment. I don't actually think it's that many. Yeah, I've only got, I've only got about half a stack of blocks. So I'm just going to put a bit of this stuff away and then go ahead and do a lot more villager trading. So I've collected up about 82 blocks. So hopefully this is enough to finish off the beacon. And of course I am 14 blocks short. Just need a few more and I will be able to finish this. Yeah, I got a bunch of iron, hold on. I don't like so much iron now. Okay. And done. Finally. So let's put that in there. Let's do haste to boom but anyway we can into mine is all dug out and the next step is to actually put in some platforms here so you can see we've started putting in the first two here so essentially these will just go around covering up this entire platform of these three chunks and then that will go all the way up to Y39 and just like that all the platforms are now in other than the bottom one obviously i do need to sort of just make that the same as this with all the jack-o-lanterns and stuff but there are about 11 spawning platforms here and when the slime spawn as you will see right here they'll be attracted towards these iron golems here and jump straight off or obviously get hit by them So I've spent a bit of time and I've put in these walls here because the slimes aren't actually meant to go this way, they're only meant to go down here. And if I jump down here, the next thing I need to do is just place in all these rails and yeah, then connect up the storage system over there and also dig out the area up the top to improve the spawning. So anyway, I'm going to do the floor here as well as digging that out in a time lapse. So let's get into that. of the farm done and I am getting a lot of slime spawning like you can't really see any at the moment but pretty much in my inventory here there's a stack and a half and that is just from me being down here in the last five minutes and there's already some more slime balls so anyway I still need to actually connect this up to a storage 
But what I'm going to do is I'm going to have sort of like some sort of pressure plate system to stand on and it sort of is going to allow the minecarts to travel on and off. They'll unload into a chest and yeah, it'll just be a simple design for the moment. I don't really need anything complicated, but I also have a water drop down from the surface up here a water elevator up to the surface and a portal to go back to the nether because there is a portal up here it is still required to be there because if it if it tries to link to that one it doesn't work and actually links to this portal over here which is slightly inconvenient because you can't actually get out of here so I've just decided to leave this portal here. I will move it to somewhere eventually but there's a way up as well as a way down to the farm and to get all of the resources and the drops from it. But anyway that is actually going to be it for this episode. So anyway thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.